how's everyone doing? Today I have a Blu-ray and DVD collection update. Just four right there. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them. And first up is Irvin Belen's Easter Parade. And I had never seen this one before. It stars Julie Garland, Fred Astaire, and it also has Peter Lawford and Ann Miller. Ann Miller really blew me away in this one with her dancing skills. Really impressive. And this is a classic musical, uh, great uh, dance scenes and uh, musical numbers as well. Fred Astaire and Julie Garland, great performances by both. And again, I was really impressed with Ann Miller. I thought she was a really good dancer. And uh, Peter Lawford, I really like uh, The Fellow with the Umbrella. I like that montage a lot as well. And uh, Fred Astaire, one of the greatest dancers ever right there. And it's funny because they were talking about uh, people that were supposed to play the part. Gene Kelly was originally supposed to play the part, uh, but he injured his ankle. And uh, Sid Cherie was supposed to play the part of Ann Miller, but she also had an injury as well. But I think it, it turned out wonderfully. I think they all uh, worked out very well together, the cast. And uh, just a really charming movie. That's what I would describe this movie as best. It's charming. One thing I will say, though, the special features right there, commentary by uh, Ava Astaire, Mackenzie, and John Frick. Uh, East Parade, On the Avenue, uh, American Masters, Judy Garland, By Myself, Mr. Monotony, Outtake, Mr. Monotony, uh, Dailies, Radio Promo, Audio Only, and a uh, Green Guild Theater Broadcast Audio Only from 1951, and a theatrical trailer. Out of, you know, all those special features seem great, but the American Masters, Judy Garland, by myself, was not on there. When I first watched this, I was like, did I miss this? One of those hidden ones. Like, sometimes they'll put the commentary under, uh, like, the language features and things like that. So I went on to uh, Blu-ray.com, and they actually confirmed that that feature was not on here. So even though it says it on the back right there, the one with uh, Judy Garland right there, American Masters, Judy Garland by myself, that is not on this feature right here. Just wanted to point that out. And like I said before, Easter Parade is just a really charming movie. It's about uh, Don Hughes, who is a dancer right there, and Nadine Hale. They're a dancing partner team right there. And in the beginning, uh, Nadine decides, you know, she's going to call it quits with him, and she's going to go pursue a solo career, essentially. You know, uh, Don Hughes is really broken up about it. He's like, well, I don't need you. I'll just find any girl out there, and, you know, I'll make her into the dancer that you are. I picked you out uh, from a course and made you what you are today. And, you know, she kind of scoffs at that notion. And you also kind of find out uh, that Don Hughes kind of has a thing for uh, Nadine Hale, you know, kind of kind of loved her essentially so he was kind of heartbroken about it as well and there's kind of all kinds of different romantic aspects as well and Nadine Hale really likes uh, Jonathan which is uh, Don Hughes's like best friend essentially but uh, Jonathan doesn't like Nadine uh, Jonathan ends up liking um, right there uh, Hannah Brown played by Judy Garland and uh, Hannah Brown ends up liking Don Hughes so it's all kinds of you know mixing and matching right there all kinds of uh, romantic fumbles and stuff like that and that adds to it as well and so basically um, Fred Astaire's character right there Don Hughes goes to a place and just randomly picks out Judy Garland right there Hannah Brown and you know he's like I'm gonna make you into a dancer and, you know so he's basically teaching her all the routines and then you know over time you know, she falls for him, and then he doesn't realize it at first, but he's falling for her, and so it's really kind of sweet and touching. The whole time, you know, he's trying to prove it to uh, Nadine that, you know, he can dance with anybody, essentially, but it turns out to be more. It turns out that, you know, he falls in love with her, and it's just a really sweet movie. It's very touching. It's a family-friendly movie, and if you like classic musicals, like Singing in the Rain and uh, Holiday Inn and things like that, I think you'll really appreciate this one as well. It has the same kind of feel to it. And it was based on Irving Berlin's Easter Parade song right there, which was also in uh, Irving Berlin's uh, Holiday Inn. Lots of great music in here as well. And uh, the Easter Parade, it was cool to see some of those uh, in the special features. They were talking about the Easter Parade, how big of a thing that was where, you know, people would just walk in their best, their Sunday best, essentially, with their fancy hats and bonnets and things like that. And, you know, they would just walk down the street. You know, they would have uh, newspaper people take pictures of them and things like that. And that, it kind of harkens back to that time period. And, you know, I, it's kind of cool to see all that people wearing their top hats and the bonnets and things like that. And Easter Parade sounds and looks fantastic. It was filmed in Technicolor. I will say there's one, you know, slight issue in a couple little scenes here or there where in the background you can kind of notice the Technicolor isn't, you know, the, the transfer didn't work that great. But besides those couple little instances, it looks fantastic, especially for its age, 1948. I mean, I uh, love this, that classic feel to it. But I think the issue in those couple scenes where it has the issue in the background with the Technicolor is really more the source material. Uh, so you could only, you know, upgrade it as much as you can with the transfers. And I think this did an excellent job in doing that. It's It looks fantastic, except for just the, you know, minor little things in the background and just a couple scenes. But overall, it looks and sounds excellent. And the dance numbers from Ann Miller and Fed Astaire are just fantastic. 
just a fun, charming movie, great family movie, uh, very entertaining. And it's really cool to see the elegance of the day as well with the Easter Parade. And this is from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. I'll just go ahead and show you the artwork right there. Recyclable case. Just plain title artwork right there. And I really enjoy this movie and I highly recommend it if you're into uh, classic musicals. And next up from Magnolia Home Entertainment is Deadfall. Oh, and right off the bat, I was interested in seeing this one because it has a snowy setting. And I love movies with snowy settings. And uh, this one actually delivered. It's a good crime thriller. Great cast. Uh, you've got uh, Eric Bana, uh, Olivia Wilde, uh, Charlie Hoonan, Chris Christopherson, Sissy Spacek, Kate Mara is in here as well. For some reason, she's not on the front cover, even though she has a you know pretty big part in here, I would say. You also have uh, Treat Williams as well. And uh, there's the back right there. And Kate Mara is the sister of Rooney Mara, and uh, Kate Mara and Rooney Mara are both uh, great granddaughters of um, Art Rooney, who uh, was the founder of the Steelers, and uh, Timothy Mara, who was the founder of the New York Giants football teams. So Pittsburgh Steelers and New York Giants, they come from, you know, huge football families, so that's really interesting as well. And basically it's about a uh, robbery gone bad, it's a heist, and uh, basically right there, Olivia Wilde and Eric Banner are brother and sister, uh, Addison and Liza, and they uh, earlier they robbed a casino and they're driving through this snowy weather, and their driver gets into an accident, flips the car, he ends up dying, and they're, you know, they're, they get out with all the money, all the cash, and uh, a cop car pulls up and you know, to check the situation, and Eric Banner shoots the cop, and so they basically are on the lam, they're trying to run and escape, they're trying to get to Canada, and they, you know it's freezing, bitter cold weather, and they decide to split up, and she ends up meeting uh, Charlie Hoonan, who plays a character named Jay, who's an ex-boxer. Jay's a great name, by the way. Uh, he plays an uh, ex-boxer who went to jail because he threw a fight, essentially, and he's kind of uh, distanced himself from his uh, family right there, uh, some family drama right there with Sissy Sp uh, Spacek, who plays the mother, and uh, Chris Christopherson is the father. Uh, him and the father don't really talk anymore. Um, but Sissy Spacey kind of, you know, is trying to get them back together. It's coming up on Thanksgiving. They want to have a family Thanksgiving together. And, you know, he picks up Olivia Wilde. Um, it's basically essentially hitchhiking. And uh, they end up kind of falling for each other. And at the same time, you know, he ends up tracking her down. And, you know, he's going through the woods by himself. I actually thought Eric Bana's performance was really good in here. It all comes to a head essentially because they all get together in the house for Thanksgiving dinner and, you know, Eric Bana finds out that, you know, they were hooking up and stuff like that. And they have this really weird relationship, Addison and Eliza, you know, they're supposed to be brother and sister. There's actually, I feel like there's more to it. I wish they would have explained it a little bit more. They give you a lot of details, but it kind of makes you wonder, is, is you know, kind of leaves some questions that you're not 100% sure of what's really going on there. But it's kind of a weirdly kind of a sick ancestral relationship, it seems like, right there between them. But I uh, really love this uh, cinematography. is beautiful. The setting, just everything. The acting was, was pretty much on point. And uh, I think it was a decent crime thriller. The ending kind of left me wanting a little bit more. Uh, but overall, I would say I would give this one a recommendation uh, if you're into kind of action-packed crime thrills with some good dramatic aspects to it as well. And I think great acting performances. And like I said, I love movies with snowy settings, and this one had it in spades. You know, they're running in the snow, they're driving in the snow, they're being chased in the snow, they're walking in the snow, they're fighting in the snow, just snow all over. And that really adds to the tone of this movie as well. Very fitting for it, and it works really well for a crime thriller. I always want to see more movies with snowy settings, but very few movies with snowy settings seem to work in my opinion. Uh, but this one definitely did. And I'll go ahead and show you the disc artwork, which I like that disc artwork a lot. Kind of reminds me of uh, Jeremiah Johnson a little bit. Right there, the cover artwork for Jeremiah Johnson. And next up from Mill Creek Home Entertainment is That 70s Show Season 2 on Blu-ray right there. Featuring all new high-definition transfers of all 26 episodes from Season 2. Right there. I always enjoy this show. A great cast right there. And if you've seen That 70s Show, let me know who your favorite uh, character is as well. I think mine has to be Red. Red Foreman. Just... I just love him. He's so grumpy, uh, but basically put a lot of these people on the map. Uh, and Ashton Kutcher, Topher Grace, just everybody essentially got their big breaks from here. And a uh, nice slip cover right there. Just go ahead and show you the release right there. Loaded with bonus materials, uh, including a behind the scenes of that 70s show for episodes Holy Crap, Red Fired Up, and Cat Fight Club. Featurettes Season 1, I Look Back, a talk with director David Trainer. And then episode commentaries from Halloween, uh, Hunting, and Catfight Club. So there you go. And really my only minor criticism is the disc artwork, or lack thereof. I mean, I do appreciate that it has uh, episodes on each disc right there. And 
go ahead and show you. Four discs in total. And I have season one right here, also from Mill Creek Home Entertainment. And it also came with a slip cover right there. Go ahead and show you that. But this one right there has disc artwork, and I appreciate that. On the disc artwork, it has the episodes as well as the characters, which I feel like I wish they would have done that for season two. You know, they could have just used different poses for the different characters or used different characters in general. That's my only minor criticism for the release of uh, that 70s show season two right there. But besides that, you know, it looks great, sounds great, no, no complaints in that department. Uh, I was actually surprised by how good it looked. And there you go. And basically it's about, you know, a group of friends growing up in the 70s, kind of a coming age tale. Uh, and they're in uh, Wisconsin as well. And they're just, you know, going through life. And I like that it feels really authentic at the time, especially with the wardrobe that they use and the different things that go on as well. And I love all the hijinks they get in, the different uh, relationship drama and aspects as well. It's just a really funny show very entertaining and you have a lot of different emotions going on there's you know dramatic episodes there's episodes where you know it's just all kinds of goofiness that happens and, and again love the cast Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, uh, Topher Grace, just everybody in here Wilmer Valderano, uh, Danny Masterson, Laura Prepon and of course I always remember Red uh, right there Red Foreman he was uh, the villain in Robocop as well <laughs> It has some really funny episodes in this one as well, from the special brownies, uh, celebrating Halloween. I always love any kind of Halloween-themed TV shows, and uh, that's always fun right there. And I would definitely recommend checking out the show if you haven't before, or if you're a fan of this one. Definitely a great release. Again, it looks great, and I was really surprised by how uh, affordable this is as well. Great price point for this release. And next up from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment is Tom and Jerry Pint Slice Pals. And right there, it's uh, two discs, and it's over three hours of cartoon fun. Classic Hanna-Barbera right there. Love the show growing up. Obviously, an inspiration for The Simpsons, uh, Itchy and Scratchy, except, you know, Itchy and Scratchy is obviously more geared towards a, you know, a newer audience. It's more violent and things like that. Uh, but just a classic cartoon. I think everybody knows Tom and Jerry. And it's 30 hilarious cartoons right there. And uh, basically, it has all the small characters all throughout there. Uh, Tyke, Tuffy, Little Quacker. And uh, there they are right there in the back. Now, all these episodes have been uh, on other Tom and Jerry releases, but this is the first time that all the pint-sized characters are on one collection, one release right there. So that's very cool if you're big fans of those particular characters. Here's a release for you right there, all in one. And if you don't have any other Tom and Jerry releases, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. A lot of fun, great characters, great animation, just a classic cartoon. And I really enjoyed it. And I think for this price point as well, I think it's definitely a great pickup. And the episodes look clean and clear and crisp. Clearer than I ever remember growing up. And so that's an added bonus right there as well. And I love these cartoons growing up as a kid. And they're just, you know, they're fun. They're cute. They're, you know, family time fun right there. And it's great to see a nice release for this as well. And like I said, it looks really clean and clear and crisp. Uh, you know, bright, vivid colors as well. I'll go ahead and show you the inside the discs and it comes with a uh, bonus mini game upgrade and toon cash five dollar value play at cartooniverse.com uh, i guess for looney tunes we do cartoon universe and if you want that code it's a really long one i will try to leave that up there so first come first serve right there yeah five dollar uh, value so i'm never going to use that but there you go there's the recycled case right there and then there's disc there's artwork right there which I always appreciate disc artwork and it's unique disc artwork for both discs which again very much appreciate that they could usually use uniform artwork but they didn't do that adds a nice special touch right there to it so there you go there were my uh, four pickups right there if you've seen any of them definitely let me know what you think of them leave me a comment or video response down below hope everyone's doing well take care